Hello everyone, Raphael here from Time Stop Studios. In this tutorial, we'll be removing blemishes. Okay, in Adobe Photoshop CS3 Extended, I want you to open up your interface so you can see the different tools and the navigation over here, as well as the layers on this side. What I'm going to do is I want, just in case you don't have it set up the same way as me, you come up to Window, and you're going to go down to Workspace, and go down to Default Workspace, and left click on your mouse. Now what's going to happen is you're going to see your navigation over here on the side, your layers over here, and your tool palette over here on the interface. Okay, I want you to go over to File and open up a photograph that you think needs touching up as far as someone with blemishes or scars or dust on the picture. In this picture, I took this picture in my studio of this child. Now this child did not have these blemishes. I put these on synthetically. Now over my navigation, I'm going to go over and move it over to where these are simulated dust particles. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a tool that I'm going to use. All right down here if you hover over on your tools you're going to see move tool rectangular marquee lasso magic wand and as you go down you're going to run to where you may see spot healing this is usually after the slice tool now if you hover over it and you left click on it and you hold down a list will pop up here what we're going to start off is with the spot healing brush tool. Left click on that. Now we're going to come over. Now what this is going to do, it's going to sample any color that's surrounding this blemish right here and paint over top of it. So that means like you're sampling the baby's head color. You want to make sure that your brush head is larger than the dust. So I'm going to right click and this little area is going to pop up. Now you can drag to the right where's the diameter of the brush. Make sure that the hardness of the brush is all the way to the left to give nice softness. I'm going to come back over and I'm going to put it over top and make sure that it's larger than this dust speckle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click left click right inside this little area so that this way there I'm able to hit enter on my keyboard okay now I'm gonna hover over this and left click right on it and see what happens okay it removes some of it now I'm gonna left click again and I'm gonna I want you to use your judgment on your photograph to make sure that it looks good always make sure that your picture is zoomed in either 100 percent or more now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use another tool we're gonna go over and click on left click where the spot healing tool and either hold down or if it pops up that's great we're going to go down to the patch tool left click on the patch tool now I'm going to come over by my dust particle and I am going to draw a circle using my left click on my mouse and draw a circle all the way around this dust particle now it should highlight in dancing ants now what you want to do is you want to come up to the top and look and make sure that source has been, has been chosen, not destination. Now you're going to come over and you're going to left click right in the center of the marquees, all dancing ants all around it. You're going to go right in the center of the circle. You're going to drag it either to the right or up and sample that color and let go of your left click. That's going to remove the dust particle. Now that's the patch tool. That's another way. Now what we're going to do is control D on your keyboard and that's going to deselect the marquee tool. Now I'm going to go over to my navigator and I'm going to come down and I see more of these blemishes. Now I'm going to go over to the left here where the tools are and underneath the patch tool there's a brush and then there's the clone stamp tool. I'm going to click on the clone stamp tool, left click, and I'm going to make sure that it chooses the clone stamp. Now I'm going to go up to the top and make sure my opacity is very low. I want it like anywhere from 12, 14. I'm going to leave it right here. 
Now I'm going to right click to make sure that my brush size is a little bigger than the blemish. So I'm going to bring my brush down. See, it's a little bigger. Make sure that the hardness is all the way to the left. Now I'm going to click in this diagram, left click, right on the center there, and then I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to remove. Now I'm going to click right on it, left click, and you're going to see this pop up. This is an important message right here. What you want to do is that's telling you that you need to put the brush to the left or to the right to sample and hold Alt down. Now when you hold Alt down on your keyboard you're going to see a target appear. That target means that when you left click on your mouse you're going to sample that color right there at that spot. Now that I did that I'm going to tap left tap left click left click and you see that plus sign that's telling me that I am layering that color to the left there right on top of that blemish. Make sure that that plus sign doesn't get close to that blemish otherwise it's not going to work out. Now these are different ways of doing it. I'd like to hear from you if you like this lesson I can provide more lessons. I'd love to hear from you at raphael at timestopstudios.com Alright, you take care now. Thank you.